All right, session eight. This session, we're gonna focus on two clubs, pitching wedge and hybrid. Pretty standard, we're gonna go through our baseline drill, which is just three uh, with the pitching wedge from knee high, three with extend, and three with explode. So we're gonna get right to it. First one, brace the trail leg, set the handle forward, turn, turn. Remember, it's the whole body that's turning, it's not just the shoulders going back and through, it's the whole body. So brace, set, turn, turn, brace, set, turn, turn. That's three of the little ones. Now we're gonna do the same backswing really, but we're just extending in the follow through. So brace, set, turn back, extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. In this extend piece, we're really standing up. Our chest is facing the target, and our club head is about hand height and sternum height. So the club head's not up above our hands or above our sternum. Last one with the extend, brace, set the handle, turn, extend. Okay, now for the explode. Again, brace the trail leg, set the handle forward, turn back, and explode. And really, we're just trying to feel the explosive power from about right here through impact and beyond. So second one of explode, brace, set, turn, explode. Final one of explode, brace, set, turn, explode. Okay, we did our pitching wedges. We are back on track. We should feel a lot like we did in our last session really comfortable, and now we're moving to hybrid. We're just gonna do the same three size swings, and we're just gonna try to get the exact same sensation that we got with the pitching wedge. With the hybrid, I'm set up for solid contact when the shaft is pretty much vertical, or maybe just slightly forward. So now, in my setup, I still want that athletic or powerful impact alignment, but I don't need so much forward shaft lean. If I had that, the contact point would be really high on the hybrid, be up high on the face. So again, set up, brace the trail leg, set the handle for impact, for sweet spot contact, and then turn back, turn through. Just the little one first, make sure you can maintain the alignment with the little one. Second one. Third one. Okay, now we're going to extend. So brace, set the handle, set for sweet spot contact, Turn back, extend, brace, set, turn, extend, brace, set, turn, extend. Okay, now these are the big ones. These are the explode ones. Still want to get the same sensation in the back swing, but we want to have that full explosion coming through. So we'll brace the trail leg, set the handle for sweet spot contact, and then we're going to turn back and explode through. Okay. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Just because I have this hybrid in my hands now, I can feel myself want to swing harder in that little extend swing. Whereas with the pitching wedge, in the extend swing, I don't feel like I need to swing hard. I'm just trying to extend and move with the club in the through swing. But something about having this club in my hands makes me want to swing harder. You'll see I'm making a really short backswing and I'm doing that on purpose. And I've seen a lot of you guys' videos. The backswing still, for a lot of you guys, is too long. Meaning you're going back to about here with your hands and arms and then a little bit of wrist hinge, club's getting a little high. And what's going to happen if that, if that occurs coming down, that has to let out. If we hinge our wrists on the backswing, we have to unhinge them to hit the ground. Otherwise, we'll just drag around like this the whole way. So if we're unhinging it and the club's hitting the ground, we are definitely gonna see a really high club head and low hands in the finish. If we're maintaining the alignments, or if we haven't broken them on the backswing, we maintain them going back, we maintain them going through, we can maintain them a lot longer on the through swing. All right, guys, awesome session. So I know a lot of these drills seem the same, but I did put a lot of thought into this and I am putting a lot of thought into each one of these sessions. Try to do each one of the drills. And you could even 
go back and repeat all seven sessions before you start session eight. Just don't do them all at the exact same time because at that point, I think you'll be hurting yourself. All right, guys, thanks for watching and happy golfing.